Hey guys, I am recording this intro after I've already listened to the video. And let me tell you something, this is really good. You are in for something special. Here we go. Hello everyone, it's Bob. Welcome back to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. How you doing? I'm doing great. My camera broke about a week and a half, probably almost two weeks ago. And I haven't been able to film. So I have a new camera. I just couldn't get that other one to work. It took me a while to, for it to come in. But here I am. So I'm happy to be back. So I'm going to try to make up for it this week and have a number of videos for you guys. One of you had recommended that I listen to this video we're going to be going over today and said it would be well worth my time. I apologize. I looked through all my comments to try to find out who it was. And I was going to mention their name, but I can't find it. And I don't know what video they made the comment under. So um, anyways, whoever recommended this, thank you very much. Um, but anyways, the singer is 15-year-old Emma Cook from the Netherlands. I researched her a little bit, and I'll be honest with you guys. I am inspired by her without hearing a single note from her singing. For those of you who don't know her story, it is touching. At a very young age... A very young age, and she's only 15 now, it became apparent that she had this massive love for music. She just, she immersed herself fully into everything she did when it came to music. And to make a long story short, she ended up winning the 2021 The Voice Kids Netherlands, which was a great feat all in itself. But there is so much more to her story that is tied to an illness she has. I'm now a medical doctor, so it's hard for me to explain this, but I'll state it as simply as I can. And as much as I can understand, her stomach is basically dormant due to it being partially paralyzed. And because of that, that obviously makes eating extremely difficult, if not impossible for her. And as a result, Emma uses two feeding pumps to give her body the necessary nutrition that it requires. Apparently, the pumps bypass her stomach's restricted capacity. That's the best I can make out of it. Bottom line, it's extremely painful, and it has obviously taken both an emotional and physical toll on this young 15-year-old Emma. She's just so young to be going through all this. Through all of this, though, she has found bravery and has this extremely, extremely strong desire to sing in spite of everything she's going through. She clearly is an inspiration to so many people with the lesson being, despite what is being thrown your way, as bad as it can be, we can rise above it and find both success and more important, uh, more importantly, happiness. All this at 15. <laughs> so she is such a strong person and at this point, I don't even care what she sounds like. I'm just so inspired by her story, and um, I can't wait to hear this. So anyways, all right, let me get my headphones on, and we're going to be back. We're going to listen to Emma. Hold on. Okay, we are back. First of all, thank you, everyone, for checking out this video. And if you would consider liking this video and also following me on YouTube here, that would be great. If you really like what you're seeing, if you would consider subscribing to either my YouTube membership channel here or over on Patreon, on my Patreon page. Either way, I would really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. Especially because my camera seemed to be failing on me all the time. So, all right. So, one quick thing before we get going. I already said Emma is, um, is kind of near and dear to me because she's from the Netherlands. And that's where my mom's from, and I have family there. And just the Netherlands is very special to me. Fellow Dutchman, violinist, and conductor... Andre Rayu featured her, that's what we're looking at here, on one of his shows. I don't know if it was a, a regular show he puts on or if it was a concert of his, but either way, that's what this is that we're going to be watching. And I think we are going to be listening to something extremely special. The name of the song is Voila. And uh, let's just get right into it, shall we? Here we go. Her broertje heeft zijn podium debut hier bij ons gemaakt, op het Vrijthof. Her little brother 
had his first performance on stage here with us on the Freitag. I still see him sitting there. That's a huge crowd. The violins. And now he is a fantastic violinist. He has a fantastic violist. You are in the sick with Kidoke Capito for Enzo Koch. And Enzo has a little sister, Emma. Unfortunately, Emma has a rare but terrible disease. Her stomach is paralyzed. She cannot eat. All the food goes through a little tube directly into her stomach. But Emma is a brave girl. She wants to live a normal life. And Emma has a dream. She has a beautiful voice. She wants to be a singer. She did the voice kits here in Holland, and immediately she won. <laughs> she created a foundation to raise money to study this terrible disease and perhaps even in the future cure it. Emma, I think, is an example for all of us. Give her an enormous applause, there she is, Emma Koch. Oh, this story just melts my heart. Écoutez-moi, moi la chanteuse à demi. Parlez-moi à vos amours, à vos amis. Parlez-le de cette fille au ciel noir et de son rêve fou. Ce que je veux, c'est à créer des histoires qui arrivent jusqu'à vous. C'est tout. Voilà, 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 voilà qui je suis. Mais voilà mes messieurs, mes années j'appelle. Oui, mais voilà tout le bruit et tout le silence. Regardez-moi. Oh, dis-moi ce qui le reste. Regardez-moi avant que je me déteste. Quoi vous dire que les lèvres de nom ne vous diront pas? C'est peu de choses, mais moi, tout ce que j'ai, je le dépose là. Voilà. Voilà, 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 voilà qui je suis. Mais voilà, même mes si, mes années c'est fini. C'est mes cœurs, c'est mon cri. Mais voilà, tant pis. Okay, I'm going to pause here. I will back it up a little bit because we're halfway through and I just don't know where the break is. So I'm going to back it up a little bit so we'll kind of get back into the flow. Wow. Um, that was touching. I could already feel my eyes watering up. To be honest, I have no idea what the translation of this song is. But does it really matter? I, I guess it was French, but who cares? <laughs> what we just listened to was a beautiful and passionate performance by a very talented young girl for being only 15 forget that let me correct that for any age she was she is showing an amazing amount of composure up there especially in light of everything that she is going through i don't mean to throw names out but immediately this immediately this came to mind she reminded me so much of one of my favorite singers of all time Lara Fabian. And I say that because like Lara, I could sense a real passion inside of her for this song. And just after experiencing a half of a song, I'm already completely enamored by this amazing artist and singer. Just amazing. 
All right, so I did back it up. This is really good, you guys. You know, I listen to a lot of music on here, but this is special. So let me go ahead and play this to the end, and we'll talk some more. Here we go. C'est mes gueules, c'est mon cri, mais vous voilà ton pire. Voilà, 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 voilà juste ici. Mon amour et mon vie, comme je grève, comme je ris, mais voilà tout le prix. That was, I'm, let me shut this off here. My eyes, I don't know if you can tell, my eyes are watering. That was beautiful and a, just a beautiful story of, you know, I don't even have to say, that was a tearjerker. It was so incredibly touching. Um, 
I need to break this thought just for a second. So before I try to find new words to describe how wonderful and touching and meaningful that was, I do want to mention the orchestra here. <laughs> I got to break away from this a little bit. Um, they really did an amazing job uh, during this, and the music just seemed to flow. Just and, and when I, I say flow, and I really mean that, it just flowed so beautifully. It was just lovely. So hats off to Andre Reu and the Johann Strauss Orchestra for the incredible job that you did. Man, I'm just watering up a storm here. That was really something incredibly special. So, um, and I, good job, Andre, for featuring Emma and giving her a chance to spotlight her um, incredible talent. She's magical. She has such an angelic voice and soul to her. It's just beautiful. So let me do this. I'm, I need to just break for a second and I'll talk a lot more in my final thoughts. So let's do that. All right. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay. We are back. I've allowed myself to regain some composure, <laughs> man. Do you have guys ever have songs that just hit you like right between the eyes and right in the heart. And this one did that. And I mean, the story of her medical issues as she's fighting, how courageous she is and her, positive attitude through everything she's going through man i go through so much less than that and that sometimes i don't have the power that she's got just an amazing amazing girl this girl looked like some tiny fragile young thing didn't she but trust me we're looking at a courageous warrior here there's just so much about emma her story her voice, so much to all that that just makes her so special. And the way she started with this so soft and delicate opening, it just drew us in right away. And she walked on stage. She didn't have to wait for the music to start. She just walked up on stage and she started. And I thought that was, I love that because there was no sign that she was nervous or a little hesitant or, you know, waiting for some signal for her to, she just got up there and went with it. And I really liked that. I have to be honest, like I touched on before, I never cared so little about the lyrics of the song <laughs> as I did right now. Instead, I was just completely captivated by her just wonderful voice, all tied in with her amazing and powerful story. She took us from that fragile opening and continued to gain uh, power, conviction, bravery, everything throughout the song. It just kept getting better and better and better. And you could see that actually in her in her voice, in her expressions, and just everything she was doing, you could see that she was just getting more into it. And the more she gets into it, the more we're being sucked in. That was, oh, wow. I say bravery because um, I will, I don't think this girl will ever let any medical issues keep her from accomplishing the goals and the dreams that she has set for herself. This is really what she was meant to do. And she knew that at a very young age. And this is just her whole medical issue to me is just a side story that she's not going to let her hold her down or keep her from her dreams. I have so much over the top respect for this girl and she deserves literally every bit of it. Absolutely beautiful and unforgettable voice. You will definitely be hearing more from me on her, on my channel. I don't know how much music she's got out there. She's very young, so she may not have a lot. But I will definitely be doing another video from her in the future. So listen, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you appreciated this and were as touched by this as much as I was. Because I just think this was truly special. So, okay. As I always say, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count. Peace out. I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.